Numerical summaries of data like the mean and the median are very useful, of course, but it's important to recognize that no single number can show all of the anomalies and asymmetries and other things that might be present in data. For example, starting with some sample data, the general location of numerical data on a number line is most often described using either the median or the mean. The median is a number in the middle of the data, so the median separates the data into two halves, and the mean is just the average. Here is a number line plot of the data with the mean and the median marked on the plot. If the distribution of the numbers in the data is symmetrical, or at least approximately symmetrical, then the mean and the median will be in approximately the same place. If the distribution of the data is not symmetrical, however, such as if the distribution is more spread out or skewed on one side or the other, the mean will typically be affected more than the median. Distributions that are more spread out in the positive direction are called positively skewed, and distributions that are more spread out in the negative direction are called negatively skewed. In this particular example, the median is halfway between the two points in the middle of the data, and as long as those two points don't move, the median also will not move. The mean, on the other hand, averages all of the points, so if any of the points change, the mean will change as well. The mean is also affected by points called outliers. Outliers are points that fall unusually far from the rest of the data. The median is typically not affected by outliers. Numbers like the median that are relatively insensitive to outliers are called robust statistics. The word robust here is a technical term and is not intended to suggest that robust statistics are any better than other statistics. Some outliers can be ignored, for example, such as outliers that result from data collection errors or from effects that are otherwise not of interest. But outliers can also represent important features of the data, like earthquakes or genetic mutations or other unusual phenomena or events. So appropriate choices about robust statistics and the handling of outliers depend on the nature of the outliers and on the application. Another robust way of dealing with outliers is a statistic called a trimmed mean, which is the mean calculated after throwing out points near the edges of the distribution. Here, for example, is an unusual data set with one number that is much larger than any of the other numbers in the list. The mean averages all of the numbers, which in this example gives a number that is well outside of the range of most of the numbers in the list, which leads to the awkward conclusion that more than 95% of the numbers in this list are smaller than average. For comparison, this shows the trimmed mean function applied to that list of numbers. The second argument in the trimmed mean function specifies the fraction of smallest and largest values to drop from the list. Here the second argument is 0 0.05, which for this example drops the first and last elements in the list. The result is a number that does fall in the range of most of the numbers in the list. It is worth noting that the median for this list also falls in that range.